Hey my beautiful bitches, it's me Fiona St. James and welcome to another episode of Fiona's Coffee Talks. As always, I'd like to start off every morning with a fresh, hot, black cup of coffee. Hold the cream! I'd love to. So, I'm going to dive right into it. Today is Sunday, uh, I was going to say February, no, <laughs> June 21st. Happy Father's Day to all the daddies that are out there. Anyway, I'm just doing a quick little uh, intro video now because about a little over a week ago on Friday, which would have been June 12th, uh, I went into the city and it had been the first time, actually the third time in the three months since we've been in quarantine that I took the subway. So I decided to shoot a video for you guys. And uh, so, but I noticed it like the first minute because I was like wearing my earbuds and all the outside interference, the uh, the first minute or so, like you couldn't really hear me. So I thought, let me do a quick little two minute intro and then I'm gonna splice them together. So that's the whole point of this. So the video that's going to, that's part of this, which is a bulk of it, was filmed on, as I said, Friday, June 12th. And it's basically just about facing your fears. So anywho, glad you're here with me and uh, if there's like one little point about five, six minutes into it where the the interference, the street noise gets a little not as low as I'd like it to be, but <laughs> sorry about that. So I'm apologizing in advance, but I think the sound quality of what you're about to hear is great. So anyway, guys, stay safe, stay healthy and happy. And thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the video. Bye. But, you know, I have to be honest, it may not seem like a big deal, but me actually jumping on the train today was a big to-do for me. Like, I honestly was a little nervous. I mean, it's been like three months, and in the last three months, I have been on the subway twice, only because I had to check my P.O. box. Uh, and then today, I just kind of felt like, okay, I need to get over this fear that I have and, like, take that first step. You know, and I'm, as you see, have my mask, wearing my gloves. Uh, I even had a little plastic bag with Lysol wipes. So, you know, I made sure that I went to the last car in the back. And I was one of maybe like five people on the, in that car. And I made sure I took my Lysol wipes and I wiped it down to probably about four feet wide, the seat and the actual back of the seat. And then I let it air dry which took about three train stops and then I sat there and uh, you know and then I when I switched trains at Times Square it was interesting it wasn't that crowded I mean there were a few people there were a little more people on the one train than the seven and because I was only going a few stops to 18th Street I did not wipe anything down but I also did not sit down so now I just thought let me go for a little walk over to the east side just to enjoy the sun because Lord you know there's something to be said about just like not going out all that much and now that the weather is is finally getting nicer I'm like I gotta get over this hump and this like fear that I have of frankly living you know because when you think about it we've been so isolated that you almost kind of get used to that and then all of a sudden you're thinking hmm am I gonna get over that and then like the thought of actually even doing this today frankly was a little scary so I am happy that I faced my fears. So I, I think that's the whole point of why I even wanted to do this. Because, you know, usually I have a topic in mind. I don't even really know what the topic of this one is. Other than the fact, I'm uh, facing your fears. We're going to call this facing your fears. Because it honestly, like, you know, it may not seem like a lot. But, you know, I'm going to be totally honest and vulnerable here. It, this was like a big thing for me to do and I'm sure there are other people out there too that the, the mental aspect of what we've been going through isn't easy at least it hasn't been for me you know I do stuff to keep myself busy and I, I tend to be a pretty optimistic person anyway but you know as time progresses and more time is spent alone it gets a little harder you know because even back in, in March, I remember in my mind, I thought, okay, come June 1st, 
you know, I'm going to get back to civilization. Like, I always kind of use that as the, how I gauged it. But then, you know, with all of the protesting going on and the rioting and the looting, I was like, uh-uh, I'm not going anywhere near the city. So it was kind of like fucked up because then all of a sudden, I mean, it's fucked up that, that what happened happened and I'm, that's, I'm not even going to get into that. That could be a whole other video because then I won't be able to shut up about that. But uh, it, it was kind of like, oh, okay, well, so much for plan A. So then my plan B was, I, now I got to get over that hump because I, you know, I've always been, have, I've always had that mathematical mind. So I'm always thinking in terms of numbers. And I don't know if that's, I think that's a good thing. Like, you know, I think of a date and I say, okay, so by this date, I'm going to do whatever it is I'm going to do. And then I put so much importance on that that then suddenly when that date doesn't work out, then you, I like freak myself out. So in a way it's good to plan, but then at the same time, you do definitely set yourself up that if it doesn't work out, then there's a little bit of disappointment there. But you know, that's called life. You fucking deal with it, it's what it is. So in the interim, I thought, uh-uh, let me feel like I'm living. Cause you know, obviously I'm alive, <laughs> but that there hasn't in the last few months, even though I do stuff at home and I keep myself busy and all of that, it's the, the human touch, the human connection, the socialization aspect of life. When you don't have that, you almost kind of feel like you're alive, but you're not necessarily existing. So I haven't, I feel like I haven't had much of an existence. I'm gonna take these shades off so you guys can see me, see my eyes. So anyway, I'm going to continue walking. The streets are not that crowded. You know, now what I do is if I see some bitch coming near me, I walk in the streets, so I stay the fuck away from people. See, if I guess someone there six feet to my back, so I go, cover me. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna see some And then half the time, if a bitch gets too close to me, bitch, I hold my breath. Fuck that. Oh, look, two more people. Hold my breath. See, I held my breath. I'm talking as I'm holding my breath, and I'm gonna tell you that's not easy. Oh, Lord, I can breathe again. I passed them bitches. <laughs> so, anywho, I hope everyone is safe. If you also had the same fear that I had of, like, you know, getting back to some bit of normalcy or even just like jumping on the subway, if you, you know, if that's your thing, I mean, I, I live in Queens and. Prior to this, I would jump on the subway six seven days a week. So it was such a difference to go from that to jumping on the subway twice in three months. It's a bit of a mind fuck, honestly. So I'm proud of myself that I did this. And I, I actually had taken a picture on the subway wearing my gloves and my mask and all, and I sent it to one of my best friends, Ava. Hey, Ava. And she said, oh, are you going to do a video? And that's why I thought, oh my God, she's so right. I was like, fuck that. I have no idea what I'm going to say. And even when I hit record and I was like, hey, my beautiful bitches. I thought to myself, oh, <laughs> I don't know what the topic is. So this has been totally improvised. I love New York City. Oh, I should mention, I've been cutting across 18th Street because I go to the uh, Chelsea Post Office, which, on 8th, which is on 18th between 7th and 8th. So I've been cutting across 18th and I am now on 18th Street and 5th Avenue. Lord, 5th Avenue. This shit is still boarded up. Hold on. Yeah, I know the 6th Avenue also, like Dead Bath and Beyond and all of those stores. Look. I don't know if you can see, but some of them have like H&M boarded up. Oh, Lord. The times we live in. It's a sign of the times. It's a sign of the times. All right, guys. Thank you so much for indulging me and dealing with my spontaneity and dealing with me, honestly, not even fucking knowing what the hell I was going to talk about. But I love you guys. Uh, I hope everyone is safe and healthy. And, you know, we'll get through this. And then I think now that, like, the summer is here, just the sun just, like, you know, makes everything better. So I cannot wait to lay out in this bitch. 
Get some color, girl. I look all white and pasty. A pasty Hispanic. Who knew? All right, bitches. I love you all. And I will speak to you soon. Bye.